Hi, I'm Parker Roach from the University of Southern Mississippi's Marine Education Center. This is one of my favorites. This is a bull shark jaw. A lot of people think that shark have an infinite amount of teeth, and that's not necessarily the case, but you can see all of these teeth are kind of grown already, and as soon as a shark breaks a tooth off or it dolls out in the wild, they can just scooch one up kind of on the conveyor belt there. So this is really cool. And we do have some very interesting type of critters as well, such as this marine isopod. So think about those roly polies in your gardens. This is basically the same exact animal, except gets much larger and lives in the deep ocean. That's really alive today. Yes, you can still find these guys out in the wild today. We have one of our largest sea turtle skulls that's um, off the coast of Mississippi here. This is a loggerhead sea turtle skull. You can see that their skull is actually quite large and it's not the largest sea turtle out there in the world. That would go to the leatherback sea turtle. However, this is our largest local sea turtle. We also have a dolphin skull which is really cool because not very many people have dolphin skulls because it is illegal to harvest remains from these animals. It certainly has a lot of teeth. Yes, absolutely. All of these little ridges right here is where the teeth would be of the animal. We have some of our more endangered species here. This is a um, hawksbill sea turtle. They're really poached out in the wild a lot because of how pretty their shells are when they are young. These turtles are really pretty, so we do want to preserve and protect these guys. We also have some alligator skulls. This one's really cool. A lot of people always like looking at this one and holding this up because this is just half of an alligator skull and it's got some weight to it too. The way we can tell it's an alligator versus a crocodile is from the U on the snout. So if it's a U shape, it's an alligator. If it's more of a V shaped, it's more of a crocodile. And then just for a size comparison, this is also an American alligator as a baby. So multiple times bigger once it's an adult. But we can definitely tell its size. Typically it's from about like right in between the eyes down to the snout. Every inch can be about a foot. So if we measure, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like ten and a half or eleven foot alligator. So this was most likely an adult. Yeah, nice pretty big one. And then finally, some of our other cool artifacts. We have some black tip sharks in here. Some sharks are also able to lay eggs. They're also called mermaids purses, just because a lot of times these wash up onto shore and people think that these are actually mermaids purses or that's what they call them anyway. And these are shark uh, eggs? Correct, sharks can give live birth, they can lay eggs, or they can hold eggs inside their bodies and then they kind of hatch out. Have a good day guys.